Welcome, Taurus, to your end of the month reading for August. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. Your energy of what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you for the end month. Best message, please, for Taurus. Page of Swords coming out. Ooh. It's like the perfect timing to know exactly where you're going. Making the right choices. You could be serving others um, within a position or just literally just knowing that you're on the right path. It really feels like you're cutting through some kind of clouds over here as I'm looking at this uh, card over here. <clears throat> sort of like anything you didn't know you're cutting through. Let's see what's going on here with the Page of Swords. Clarifying on the Page of Swords. This card doesn't only clarify on the Page of Swords for the entire reading. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Embrace. Embrace it. It's like you're in a perfect position right where you are at this time, Taurus. So go ahead and embrace it. Go ahead and be grateful for it. Take it with, you know, take it with everything. Have that great, uh, that uh, gratitude going on. Nice. Okay. Very nice. Getting straight into the situation. The situation is taking place in the present, the recent past, and the near future. Ooh, anything that felt helpless and hopeless is now over. It's because, like, like, you, like I said, it feels like you cut through these clouds. Um, in the recent past, you had the dedicated effort, putting in all the extra work. And in the near future, you do have the crown chakra. So the crown chakra is going to put you into this I know situation. Very nice. <clears throat> With the dedicated effort over here, it's talking about how much work and dedication you have put into this Taurus, whatever the situation may be for you, whether it's love, money, work, you know, building your house, painting this picture, take it how it resonates. Yeah, dedicated your efforts to your achievements, to your abundance. Um, whatever abundance you're looking for, you have been working very hard towards it. Um, oh. There is definitely an understanding that whatever you're trying to move towards and aim towards, you might feel like in the recent past that all the dedicated effort that you're putting towards you, this abundance that you're looking for, um, it might feel like it's a little slow, um, Taurus. It feels like you're not really achieving exactly what you want to achieve at this time um, in the recent past. It feels like it's it's kind of hard, right? It's kind of a harder situation than maybe you were giving it credit. Um, there does feel like it's a little restrictive, right, with the, with the cups over here. So it feels like this restrictive... Um, energy, it's just not moving where you want it to be, but you have the strong will to continue to keep fighting. So it feels like, uh, look, I'm putting all this dedicated effort up trying to move and aim myself in this particular direction um, of getting, it's kind of cool because it's like this is pointing towards the Ten of Cups, right? So it's saying I'm dedicating all this effort, I'm putting in all of this, I'm aiming high for this goal, um, and I have the strong will to do so, but I just feel like it's kind of restricting me. Like things are not moving the way you want them to go. Um, but it almost feels like Taurus, like you know you're on the right path. It's just why, you know, what is it that's restricting you? What What is it that's not allowing it to move the way you want it to move? But at least with the Page of Swords coming out over here in your energy, it is saying there could also be a beautiful message coming in of communication. It almost feels like now you're becoming more clear about the situation. With the hopelessness, it's not feeling as um, restricted as it was before um, right now in the present. 
At the end of the month, you're going to feel that hopelessness and that helplessness going away. You're going to feel like the whatever was restricting you and keeping you down is now going to just kind of dissipate like the clouds over here. You know, whatever challenge and obstacle that has you standing your ground has you defensive. And this card over here could be a defensive card also. You might even be a little defensive about the situation. People are saying, hey, you know what? You keep putting in all this dedicated work and you might get a little defensive about it. Oh, no, it's coming, you know. Um, but over here, it's like everything that you have been standing your ground for, it seems like it's coming together. There's that. Okay, there's the message and the good news. Could be coming from an Aquarius. I got Aquarius twice. You might have a wow. What's the next card? Hmm. Yeah, you have this beautiful message coming in. This is a card of a messenger as well, which is crazy because I mean this it could even be a Gemini or a Libra. We have a Libra here as well. Definitely could be coming from an air sign. However it is, it's going to move you out of that challenge mode. It's going to move you away from whatever you felt was restricting you, like I said before. Um, because now you don't feel like you're stuck anymore. So whatever this feels like a message coming through is going to actually get you start moving. It's also going to make you see things clearer, even more clear than you see now. Um, and you could be doing a lot more analyzing of, of the situation to get yourself out of being stuck. Because so now it's showing that you're taking action. Whatever this message is, this good news is, this turnaround. And if it's not a message, it's got to be a message. Sorry, guys, it has to be a message. It's a blessing. It's a message that's a blessing that's going to change everything around. Message, message. And when you get this, it's going to make you want to feel grateful. It's almost like somebody is on your side. Somebody is listening to you. You feel like the universe brought this person to you. Um, you know, whether it's love, if this is career, um, if you're moving up, whatever you're moving up in. Um, however it is, it's like it's brought in as a blessing to keep you moving in the right direction. Cutting through the fears, the doubts. So any anxieties, doubts, worries, or fears that you had that this wasn't going to take place, that would be the hopelessness. And the hopelessness is now dissipating. It's gone. You see it actually moving in the direction that you have been dedicating so much effort towards. With the crown chakra over here, it's like you're in the knowing now because you become clear about the situation. You're really taking on embracing this new message and this new path. It's almost like they put you kind of on a new kind of path. Maybe they kind of steered you in the right direction. Is that what's really going on? Kind of see that. <clears throat> it's bringing me in the harmony. But there's not, like, you know that there's going to be a moderation going on over here with the temperance. It's like you moderately are going to have to, um, yeah, moderately you're going to have to move. And if you are, you know, moving towards a love situation, there's going to be a, a very, there's going to be a lot of humbleness going on towards this. And maybe you have to moderately move towards this person. Maybe you knew that you couldn't just move fast towards them um, until you got the call to say that they were ready but it will be a gradual move, that's for sure. No matter what, this move is gradual. I don't see it moving super fast. That's why you have to take moderation to get to the seven, of, the eight of cups over here, the eight of cups with the seven of cups. <clears throat> so there is this transition, um, and you know that you need to use some moderation for this transition and keep yourself very humbled. Um, for this new opportunity to to open up. There might also be other people's opinions about how you can move and do this, Taurus, and do that. Um, and I just say, you know what? With the King of Wands over here, you just kind of do what you know you're supposed to be doing because you have the instinct to know, um, you know what I mean, that you are exactly where you're supposed to be. So don't overreact to anyone's um, opinions about where they think you should be going because you're really in the knowing over here and knowing exactly where you're supposed to be. 
Um, so don't allow anything to, you know, cloud your vision um, about what you need to um, do to really take control. Because like I said, you're progressing and transitioning through the situation. Um, and it does feel like there could be with the Seven of Cups a lot of different opinions. Maybe they're, if it's a love situation, they have a lot of opinions about what this person does, who this person is, um, things of this nature, or what this job consists of. I wouldn't really worry about any of that at all. Um, just, you know what, you protect yourself with the, you know, the King of Wands is very protective. You might even have this protective person coming out saying, you know what, no. You know what I mean? Like the Sagittarius could be coming towards I have said here twice, so you could even have this Sagittarius who's protecting you through this situation, not allowing other people to throw their opinions towards you, not allowing other people to get into your business. I kind of feel, yeah, because you hold the ball in your court, um, you know, and you're in control. Um, so just make sure that you're taking control of the situation. You know, it's like, you know, you're in a harmonious place at this time. This message came through to put you there. Um, so don't really worry about that. You know, you've taken all the time and all the risks and invested all the hard work over here as the King of Wands. We're gonna bring that back up again because this King of Wands is a very big piece over here. Even though it's not a major arcana, it is actually a very big piece to the near future because it's showing the dedicated effort that you put in. You know, how you actually protected yourself as well when you were defensive towards you know, this situation. And it's talking about all the conclusions and all the things that are going on, how you cut through all of the obstacles and challenges and really stood your ground. Um, and that just feels like, you know what, that is very important piece of you, Taurus, because you were very, maybe even very stubborn about the situation, right? Don't tell me, I know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing. Um, and then you just had the reinforcement over here of this message that said, yeah, you know what? And I'm going to help you out too. Um, even when the worries and doubts were there in the back of the mind, you stayed strong and you stayed with your willpower over here, not allowing too much to, you know, to um, influence you. So let's put it this way. doesn't matter how many worries and doubts you had and how many fears of whether or not this was going to take place, Taurus. You stood your ground. You were stubborn and you really took hold of the reins and said you know what? It doesn't matter because I'm still going to go do what I want to do. That's a very stubborn Taurus energy. And that's what pulls Taurus through. Um, because no matter what, there's this understanding that, look, it can only go so far. If I don't at least pick up the pace over here and try to do something, then it's never going to go through. So, you know, and yeah, a lot of Tauruses are worry warts. So that's just a natural way of doing something anyways. I'm a Taurus. I'm a worry wart from, from Hades, right? But that doesn't mean that I'm going to give up. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to aim high. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to have the willpower and the stubbornness. You know, I'm not going to back down. And I might sit over here and even, you know, oh, I don't know if it's going to go through. I'm not sure if that's going to really work. But that doesn't get me off my high horse. Because if anything, it just probably makes us push harder when the doubts and worries come. Because you don't, you're not going to give up. Right. So I, that's why I said the King of Wands over here, not only could it be a person who's actually protecting all of your things that you're going through and your progression and trend, you know, and transitions, it's literally yourself saying, I have the ball in my court. I have all these open cups and you know what? It doesn't even matter through moderation. I will open more cups. Right. So very good job. And that's really what that is. It's a power play. Um, and it's, Taurus's way of power playing ourselves, <laughs> right? We know how to power play ourselves. So even one day if you're sad and you're, you're like, this is never going to work. I'm going to give up. Three hours later, you're going to bounce up and you're going to do that. And they can might even, you know, people might even tell, I thought you were giving up Taurus. No, no, that was just me power playing myself. That's what I, that's what I do, right? That's how I function. Yeah, let go. And that's let go of any anything that does not serve you. Let go of all those fears, you know, things that um, are holding you back, Taurus. Any doubts, insecurities, any things of these nature. Just let that go because, you know, you have 
wonderful things coming in. Look at that big, happy changes coming through. Wow. So, you know, getting rid of that negative feeling of everything's, you know, not doing great. As soon as that message comes through, that is going to allow you to let go. As soon as that comes in, you know it's here, that blessing, that message, you're going to know right then and there. That's it. Let it go because you know what? I'm on my way to big, happy changes. Till next time, my friends. Peace and love, guys. Bye-bye.